Now these computers, there's six of them. Anderson and Hester, Richard Billingsley, Kylie Matrix, Kenneth Massey, Jeff Sagarin, and Peter Wolf. Now each is required to have a schedule strength within its formula. But aside from that, they ain't no rules. Each say they do things differently. Anderson and Hester say they don't reward teams for run up scores. And that their rankings provide the most accurate conference ratings. Because they look at non conference win loss record and difficulty non conference schedule. Richard Billingsley say his computer is not purely mathematically based. But it's based on rules that are put in place from a fan's perspective. Things that he think are important to rank college football teams. I take that Mr. Billingsley computer point out what Mr. Billingsley wanted to point out. Now this college matrix, you get the formula like you see up on screen. Now I don't know whether that means anything or not. But, let's just look and let's just read a little bit of this here. In essence, each game connects two teams by an equation. And more games are played, eventually each team is connected to every other team through some chain of games. When this happens, a system of equations is coupled and the computer is necessary to solve them simultaneously. Well, I don't need a computer. What that tell me is that what happened over there going to affect what over here. What happened over here going to affect that that over there. So, you got teams that ain't even playing one another. Teams that might not even hurt one another. But yet their game is somehow going to impact your game. That's just like having your cousin once, twice, thrice, four times, five times, hundred times removed. But they're in your family, and they're going to affect you. Now, Peter Wolf, they say that one of the more mysterious ones. Because he looks at a maximum likelihood estimate. And he rates teams against their likely estimate, and basically actual outcomes versus probability of that outcome occurring. So in other words, let me explain that one. He takes what he think gonna happen and compare it to what actually happened. And from that, he gets some rankings. Now, that's the first part of them computer. I get on to the next part coming up here soon.